Well, I sorta walked myself into this one now, haven't I? The other day, we talked Charlie and her shadow army for the fun of it. However, there were more than several of those who honestly thought it was a video about Charlie being playable for realsies, and I don't really know how said individuals operate in day-to-day -day life without basic listening or reading skills, but hey, listen to this, I suppose. This is a video on a playable Charlie, everyone. Not Queen Charlie, mind you. More the joyous, infatuated assistant to Maxwell the Great Charlie. That said, getting pulled into the constant has already altered some of her abilities, so she is well on her way to becoming the true Nightmare Queen, folks. Let's discuss. And as always, it begins with the stats here. Nothing is going to blow us away, as Charlie is still just clinging to her old self as much as she can. So with that, her stats sit at normal levels, with 150 hunger, 150 sanity, and 125 health. Now yes, that health is actually below average. And yes, it does make sense, as Charlie was just like a short, frail little thing in the real world. But I would not discount her quite yet. For you see, while her fertility will translate to a weak damage modifier during the day, that will have her dealing 75% of her would-be damage, mind you. As the day draws on, her strength increases, everyone. Come dusk, Charlie will be back to dealing proper damage with all weapons during combat. And then come night, her damage will actually increase by 25% overall. Very, very nice. And yes, this does mean that she will deal an extra 25% damage at all times when she is in the caves to boot. So good luck. But speaking of darkness, here's where the fun begins. She may not be the queen of nightmares yet, but the power is there and growing, folks. Once covered in complete darkness, she will be able to take the form of a shadow of herself. This not only gives her night vision very similar to us wearing Mongols, perhaps, she is also allowed to walk through walls, structures, boulders, trees, and even mobs. Careful now, though. Like other nightmare creatures, she still can get hit. But don't worry, we can fight back. For when Charlie has transformed into her shadow self, she will now deal 50% more damage than normal, everyone. Yes, while in this form, it appears that we can still wear armor, backpacks, and other clothing as well while benefiting from everything they give us, as well as wielding whatever weapons we wish to bonk, slash, and dice our way through the constant all the same. Oh, but speaking of shadowy attacks per se, don't ever worry about getting hit at night now because, well, you know. But moving on here, to some other recent tweaks made by the modders, actually. Charlie can now pass through obelisks, even, when in her shadow form. So that could be pretty interesting if used well. But the biggest change is likely our ability to now force her to transform into her shadow self outside of being in total darkness alone. And we accomplish this by either using a Nightmare Amulet or Bone Helm. So obviously, one of those is easier than the other. But with either of them, we still gain all the benefit from this form. Plus, Nightmare Creatures no longer attack her when in this forced shadow form to boot. So have fun. But some other fun little notes here. Does Charlie have a favorite food, Beard? She does, folks. Flower salad is her favorite food, so she will benefit from 27.5 hunger per munch compared to the usual 12.5 that everyone else gets. Now, flower salad is kind of an interesting one, as it will only be available during summer. So it seems like Charlie has got some extravagant tastes, thanks to Maxwell, I'm sure. Still, she was in showbiz, so it makes sense. Oh, but speaking of that, how does she feel about being around the lunatic who dragged her unwillingly into hell, actually? Well, 
pretty good, which is kind of debatable. She has special examinations, though, for Maxwell and Winona, as you can see. However, I do wonder if it maybe would be better for her to be a bit angry at Maxwell right now. But I'm thinking the modern's more tailored her personality towards pre-constant and last show Charlie, which is okay by me. But maybe if the character progresses, you never know. But ah, uh, yes, her voice. Listen up, but turn it down as she's kind of loud. Probably from having to perform for some large audiences. But ah, uh, yes, times two. Her ghost. Now, I'll tell you what, folks, she is looking a little more angry and definitely intimidating now than she was throughout this video, so I might prepare myself. She's probably going to want to see our ghosts sooner rather than later. But finally, her skins, everyone. Likely one of the main draws of this mod, as the rest of her is pretty straightforward, as you've just seen. But we've got Gladiator Charlie, ready to forge her way to victory. Guest of Honor Charlie, ready to host the party of all parties. High Tide Charlie, for when we are ready for a little boat trip on the high seas, but to be honest, when are we ever ready for that? Queen Charlie, for when you are ready to rule the constant with nightmarish force. Rosette Charlie, for when the connection between shadows and roses in this game is not already very apparent. And finally, Survivor Charlie, which so many people want, but will never happen. They are all great though, and quite unique, so well done modders there. No, seriously, well done modders. Much love and thanks to the team of Toroic, Miserable Orange, and Marnie for taking an original playable character Charlie mod and bringing it up to speed with some of these changes. Now, I would love to see maybe some more interactions with some nightmares and such. However, I completely understand the choice to make her more as you have. She is called the assistant for Pete's sake. Heck, maybe one day someone will actually just make a Queen Charlie character to play around with and then the nightmares are really going to be showing up. But thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all. Long may she eventually reign. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.